with the one under butterfly. We got five swimmers, Rowdy, in the field that have won this event. And this is what it comes down to. There's Beryl Gastadello down in lane number one. She has three wins. Kelsey Dahlia, four wins. Only one win in this event this season. She's on the right side of the screen, but she won the final in Vegas a year ago. And far and away, the top team in this event has been Sarah Schoenstrom's energy standard. But they're so tight, right? Yeah, they've got an actual one, two, three punch in this. Bannock is not even swimming this. They're saving her for the relay. She comes in fifth, and you're right. What, what an event to start with, Bernie. If we're going to start the ISL final, we might as well start with one of the best, five of the six fastest this season, the two fastest in history, and then you've got Beryl Gastadello, who has certainly been the MVP for the LA Colonel. And Gastadello, by the way, folks, has been three one-hundredths of a second faster than Sarah Schoes from so far in ISL 2020. All right, let's get it kicked off. Who is going to get the first finals win? When they've been their best this season, Gastadella usually charges out. She's been out 25-7. Choice from about where she's been, 25-9. And then Skardai and Dahlia will have to come off the pace. They just don't quite have the speed as those two. Yeah, you can't count out Skardai. She was actually second a year ago in this event in Vegas. And look what we see here. Kelsey Dahlia, who won this event a year ago, out first. 25-5. has won the Hunter Butterfly only once this season, but she saved the best for last. Choistrom charging, though, Gastadello charging. Can she hold on? Oh, it is Gastadello by three one hundredths. How did she do it, folks? L.A. gets the first win. like this, just stay tuned. Because I can guarantee you we're going to have race after race after race exactly like this. 21 hundredths of a second separated those three swimmers. There's Dahlia. Was there any doubt in your mind right here? Even right here with five meters left, I thought she had it. Boy, she was struggling, though. And a long touch at the end for her, but what a swim by Gostadello. Three one hundredths of a second better than Schoistrom in 21 ahead of Dahlia. What a start. Beryl Gastadella, the second swimmer overall in the season, and the MVP standings gets the first win. It goes to LA five time Olympian Mark Foster down with Gastadello. Beryl, you couldn't have got your team off to a better start. You must. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm super happy uh, to get the win in the final with all the pressure and everything. After a good start, but the job is not done yet. I'm super proud of this team. I freaking love them, man. So you've got a few more races. I'm calling you smiling, smiling assassin. Sorry? You're a smiling assassin. Yeah. You're a killer. Yeah. We're going to keep going. Let's go. Let's go, Tom. Let's go. Good job. Well done. And by the way, she is destined to go on to the set. We saw her with a little breaking news on social media yesterday, trying to showcase that she as well can anchor the show. Let's watch her race for a few more years and we got another great battle here. Laclo in five with seven wins. Caleb Dressel who we told you he averages 73 and a half points per match. He is in three. Or can Tom Shields win back to back events for LA? He's down in lane number one. <laughs> as good as the women were, this might be better. Four of the five fastest swimmers in history are in this event, top five of the season, and there are those three, and the battle certainly should come with these three amazing legends here in the Hunter Butterfly. They're all very similar in the way they attack the race, at least they have been this season. 23 flat, 
is just about where their sweet spot is. Russell 23-2 when he went 48-9, but he's going to go a lot faster than that. Chad LeClough, the fastest in history. Caleb Dressel out quick. Tom Shields in the picture as well, and this is what he expected, folks. Shields, Dressel, LeClough only two tenths away. Wow. Well, <laughs> forget about the splits. They went from 23 flat to 22-3 and 22-4 going out. Could we see a world record? They're ahead of world record pace. Dressel coming home. He's trying to get the first win. 48-08 is the world record. Oh he my did it. goodness! The first ever under 48 seconds. Dressel again! A world record! Oh my goodness! Dressel with a world record performance is unbeaten Condors on top early on. She counters back with a really good event of their own as Venus Rapsis is going to be down in lane number five. But you can't count on London here because Tom Dean Maybe the swim of a lifetime, is that what you call it, when he defeated Rapsis in the semifinal? Yeah, he goes 337. Best time he's been in his life to do that. Absolutely. That was the swim of the semifinal for sure. Yeah. And certainly the swim of the life for Tom Dean. Can he pull a repeat here? If Raps is on, there's no way. But if he's off, absolutely Dean can do it. For the Condors, Tommy Haas won this event in the second semifinal. But there they are, James Guy and Tom Dean. And by the way, James Guy has been waiting for this moment. But can they do better than the man, Danis Rapsis, who's gone 335-49 this season? And look at his best time, though. That's the third fastest performer in history, 333-2. That's only a second off the world record, and he did that last year. Not like he did it 10 years ago. He did it last year. So, again, it just depends. He, he's been on and off. He's been good in some races and not so good in others. It, it's just kind of strange. He's been up and down. And, and, and if you're a, a Cali fan, fan, you're certainly hoping he's down. And a London fan, you're hoping he's down. And hoping Dean will be able to do it. When he went 335 this year, he was out 147.1. When Dean went 337, he was out 147.7. So they're not that far apart. Seven wins today, one of them from Haley. Flick at her for the Condors. She's down with Mark. Haley, another great job for the Condors. You're loving that 400 freestyle. Yes, I love being next to Haley. The Haley dynamic duo is what our coaches call us on. So, yeah, just having fun. Siobhan, you knew she was going to be there. She's got a lot of speed, but you just seem to get your pace. You did your thing. Yes, you wore I, her down. Yes, I like to kind of control my own race. I know, like, I try not to go out super fast because I know I have the back end speed, so I kind of stay with them. And if I'm ahead, then I know it's going to be good. <laughs> what I also love is you finish and I say, can I talk to you? And you're not even out of breath. No. <laughs> Showing in the pool, and it gets 
me a lot of confidence for later down the road as well. The sprinters have the glamorous events, but you do the hard events. You get those hard points. Hey, I was in the 100 free on the relay. OK, what was that so like? I did a 100. Did you enjoy that? <laughs> it was so much fun. I love being out there and standing next to the girls. I'm rather than just myself, it's a, it's a different feeling being able to stand up there with the other girls. Well done. Another win for the Condors. Yep. Yes. Go Doors. And maybe a win here for L.A. Rowdy? Uh, again, these guys have been here. Shepard's been here before. He's good in the first 100, first 200, but he hasn't been able to put it together in the second 100. That, you know, here's Raps, and that's the big story. Again, he's moved up a little bit. He was seventh at the 100. Now, at the 200, he was fourth, but way off his pace of what he's been doing all year long. At two seconds off, of what he went when he went 335. I, I love the way Dean's looking right now. Boy, he was 148 too, a little off of what he did, but looking so smooth right here. Just got a great posture in the water, great balance, that great line. And now he's moved out in front enough, Bernie, in that lane number seven to be able to kind of see everybody when he turns at the wall here. So as we go into the 300 meter mark, Let's check his split because he's been 343, 344, or 244 rather. But he's still looking pretty good. He's breathing right into the field. London desperately needs this. Yeah. They only have two wins, which is really surprising here on day number one. We would have expected London to have done better, but they are still in range. Anything could happen, particularly with the skins tomorrow, but can they get a win here? Dean has another victory over Rapsis in sight, but Dennis Rapsis, Rapsis is coming hard here, the final 50. He's high in the win. When Rapsis went 335, his last 50 was 25-3. Oh, there he Rapsis comes. charging. Rapsis, is he going to take down Dean at the end? No. no. Dean holds on. London needed that one. What a swim by Tom Dean. What a swim. 148-2, What That was just... Number two. And now coming into this race, John T. Skinner felt like this could be the determining factor for the Cali Condors, this 100 IM where Cali scored all 37 points in the semifinal when Caleb Dressel broke the world record and C Slack finished second. Do they have another big performance in them here? Yeah, when we had dinner with John T last night, he, he kept telling us, he kept pointing to this race and he felt like if Caleb could just duplicate somewhat of what he did in the semifinals, he really felt like this was going to meet, be a meet that they would win. And right now, it doesn't look too good for energy, but this one right here is going to be a big one for Caleb Russell. Can he break his own world record that he sent, broke last week, 49.88. Look at that, 43 career wins. He's already added 50 and a half points to Cali's total. How many more will come here in this 100 IM? And, and again, I'm surprised they didn't put Manadu in here. Manadu comes in as one of the fastest in history. He did swim the 100 freestyle, saving him for the mixed relay. 22-4, three-tenths of a second ahead of his own world record pace. Dressel going after it. He wants this win for the Condors. Look at that breaststroke, Bernie. Boy, is he surging now. We're going to have to check out the jackpot line here. 49.88, 49.88. Dressel trying to jackpot the field. He's going to do it again. Oh, my goodness. A new world record for Dressel.
Dressel, a jackpot, pulled in by the Condors. What can Dressel not do, folks?